Hey everyone, how's it going now? Spark here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Superstar. In the last episode, we finally finished off the Great Cave Offensive. Now, we are going to move on to Revenge of Meta Knight. Uh, save, dream save Dreamland! Defeat Meta Knight and his giant warship, Halberd! Okay, we shall do that. But let's... Watch the introduction of the reactor one. Okay, there's something going on about reactors. Checking the anti-gravity plant. Release the sails. Solar level 288. What a random number. My knight's gonna show his power. He wants to rule Dreamland. All right, let's get this moving. Now in this game, Kirby's here. Yes, Kirby is always here. He's heading towards us. Uh, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Oh my god, these are some cheesy voices. He'll get in the way, get rid of him. Okay, that does not fit him at all. Sir Meta Knight, what shall we do? Soldiers near the deck, assume combat mode. That was a horrible attempt at the anime voice from Meta Knight, but oh well. Alright, we roll in quite literally to the halberd decks, and as always, I'm going to be doing this helperless. Ah, uh, Kirby's in the rocket valve. Release the heavy lobster! Quickly! Quickly! Yes, there are... There's Meta Knight's lackeys, which we saw for some reason in Dino Blade and... Uh... The Great Kid Offensive. And that one just kind of floated away. Curry's behind the nozzle! Ouch! Fix him! Prepare to take off. Blow Kirby away. Okay. Why would you ignite the engine? And wow! <laughs> you got blown away into the ocean. Kirby. Yes! Kirby's been blown to the ocean. That was sure close. We'll conquer Dreamland with the Hellbird. Our first target, Grape Garden. Yes, here we are, the Grape Garden, and uh, in Kirby's adventure, this would have been Cloud Town, but for some reason, uh, it is uh, Water Town for some reason. And I am not meaning to do the run attack in the air, but because I'm jumping after while running. It wants to do the run attack. I'd rather just wait for that guy to kill himself right there by diving in the water. Now we fight. I have no idea what your name is. Uh, tanked a few hits there, but uh, who cares? As long as I'm still alive, I'm just below half health. I forget what your name is. Uh, we got some Scarfy, he's got some more you pineapple dudes there. That's what you look like to me, a pineapple with the army helmet on or something. And I just died. <laughs> well, it had to happen eventually, I guess. Um, as if it didn't happen enough in uh, Grave Cave Offensive. Uh, let's just try not to play stupidly from here on out. Uh, look at that. I died right before a tomato. Jeez. Um, okay, that happened. <laughs> Alright, there's some candy there that there's an updraft in for some reason. And it's auto-scrolling water action in a Kirby game. I completely forgot about this area. Ouch. 
there's a fish there that fishy frog type thing there. I know in Superstar Ultra would not let me climb up beyond the screen like this game does. For some reason, but I guess that means it's not a, an exact uh, port of the game. Well, then again, Kirby does not bounce from a uh, high fall on this in this game like he does in Superstar Ultra, and that was a lucky throw right there. And we are coming up to our first boss. Alrighty, huh? I'm, I'm gonna take Wing for reasons you'll see in a little bit. Uh, the first one... Ooh, it's Wispy Woods. Um, this is not the reason I wanted Wing, but uh, you'll see in just a bit. Um, although it does make the first one kind of trickier. There we go. Now, the reason I took Wing... Haha! <laughs> ah, jeez. Uh, quick kill. Just because those guys do not have invincibility timing like Wispy Woods does. The main can's ready. Alright, shoot him. And we just been blasted into a mountain and we fell into a forest somewhere. We got him, we fell into the forest. Good, he will never catch up. That voice is not working for me, guys. Are you sure? That doesn't work for him either. <laughs> I should probably stop trying to make up voices for these guys. Because I am, I am not coming up with anything that works, at least in my opinion. Uh, hey there, Tack, how's it going? Alright, continuing on up this... I guess we're inside of a tree, just like we were in, uh... Uh, Green Greens. And we got a tomato and a shotso there. Just fly over the shotso. Hey! Uh... Hey, that works. I didn't think you could slide on these go-through platforms. I think there is a secret down here. Yes, there is. Oh boy, what a time to be looking for secrets and a time... Do I want to switch? Sure, why not? That's not actually making me move any faster. Cutter would, though, actually. Alright, moving along up the outside of the tree, going back inside the tree. Although, actually, yeah, I'm not gonna mention that right now, I'll mention it when we get there. Oh, let's see. Um, oh, look at that, there's a cutter right there. And we get to fight! Twin Bonkers! Ouch. Man, I'm not seeing a whole lot here because... Um, honestly, it's Bonkers. I'm gonna get rid of, get rid of you. And I'll take the hammer instead. Now, the hammer actually has one ability that uh, the helper cannot use. And that's mainly because the helper cannot drop his or her ability. Yes, there are her helpers. At least I have been led to believe that there was. Um, do I... I can hear you down there, microphone thing. Yeah, I'll take the mirror. I like the mirror more than the hammer anyways. So pretty much getting the hammer unlocked in the ability room. Now normally I would just fly up there through that crack to continue on, but since 
I am I am 100%ing this. Might as well just go through the entirety of it. And even though I do not have the proper means to do this area. Okay, I should not have done that. Okay, do not hit this one though. I said do not hit this one. What do I do? I hit anyways. I do not listen to myself sometimes, I guess. Ah! That kinda hurt. Ah, quit swinging your sword like it was nothing there. Alright. Another point, I'm gonna make it an exception to the helper rule. Just so I can keep my mirror. Get up here, stupid. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll be getting rid of him as soon as we get back to the halberd. Oh man, I just spoiled a thing. It's Dinoblade! We have to fight Dinoblade again! No, we don't. Dinoblade's gonna help us here, as you can see. And we're flying back to the halberd. However, getting that mirror was pointless, because... I'm going to end it off here. Uh, this has been NanoSpark, playing Kirby Superstar. Join me next time when we continue on fighting Meta Knight's crew, I guess, in Revenge of Meta Knight. Oh, Blade looks so sad in that still frame. See y'all next time. Bye.